So there's this achievement in BTD6 called No Harvest, where you're supposed to beat chimps mode on cornfield without removing any of the corn, which is a very fun and challenging achievement. But recently, a YouTuber named The Bloon uploaded a video showcasing gameplay of one of the best in the game, Supreme Avocado, a player I'm sure you've seen on the boss leaderboards more than a few dozen times. In the game showcased, he decided to step it up a notch and beat the elite Vortex boss without removing any corn. A very impressive game indeed. So that got me thinking, how far can you get without removing any corn? In this game we will be doing it on easy, but we will try the same challenge on chimps mode as well in another video. So to start you of course will be needing to farm as much as possible. I made some obvious mistakes with my farming this game, but thankfully it was still good enough to not affect the outcome of the game. Although something else did. In this game I made the biggest mistake I've ever done in BTD6, which you will see later in the video. After some thinking, I did two attempts at this challenge. In the first attempt, I managed to get a Ninja Paragon, a Dark Monkey Paragon, and a Max Sacrifice True Sun God, along with a Stronger Stim and a Transformed Level 20 Adora. But even when using all the abilities at my disposal, there was not nearly enough damage to take down the Fortified Bads at round 200. So I decided to change up my strategy completely. We will be using Isili as our hero, and we will skip the True Sun God. Instead, we will be relying on different insta-kill abilities to take down the fortified bads, such as the Boat Paragon's hooking ability, Isili's Hex, and the Legend of the Night Black Hole. The Stun and Moab Press effects from the Ninja and the Boomerang Paragons also come in very handy to take care of the insides of the bads that pop late. Once we get to round 76, we are going to make use of a little trick that Supreme Avocado used in his Elite Vortex run. We are going to start a regrow farm to get 16.2 million pops on our Dark Monkey, Ninja and Boomerang. You can start the regrow farm by placing 4 302 Druids and 3 032 Glue Gunners and a Ray of Doom to prevent any leaks, as will be shown in the video. I did not farm more than 1 million pops from my NG due to a bug that happens when a lot of tightly packed balloons pass over the trap. The trap will close and the NG does not place down a new one. On top of this it causes immense frame lag. Once you have the regrow farm set up, you press play and you speed up. And then you wait. Not for 1 hour, not for 3. Not for 8, but for 13 hours I waited. It takes the ninja quite a while to get its pops up, and one thing causing it to take this much time is that lag will build up the longer you do this. Once we got all the pops, we simply sell the druids to end the regrow farm. And then we will go back to farming for a little bit before we get the apex plasma master. Which will, by the way, absolutely demolish everything for quite a while on this map when you don't remove any corn since all of the plasma spike balls will bounce around the whole track like crazy. Isili won't be placed in the beginning of the game because we need all the space we can to create our paragons. I will place Isili on round 200 at which point I already have the boat paragon to take care of that particular round then Isili will level up super quickly at those high rounds and I won't have to spend around 300k to get her to level 20. Once you get to the really high rounds, it becomes mostly a matter of timing all of your abilities correctly, and sometimes figuring out which bads you will need to leak to the Legend of the Night, sort of like a puzzle, and you will need to replay several rounds many times, backing in and out of the game, over and over. And, believe it or not, this became the downfall of my game. When I was playing around several times, I finally got it. I knew what to do. 
and in my excitement I pressed restart instead of home and the game was over. This is definitely the biggest and most frustrating mistake I've ever made in BTD6, especially since this was my second run after waiting 13 hours both times farming the pops. So it's kinda sad but also pretty funny in a way. At least we know we will be trying this again sometime and see how far we can push it. I know I can improve the setup a bit, although it's probably not that much further than what I got this game, because even the normal non-fortified bads started becoming a problem. Anyway, stick around to see how the game ended and what round I got to. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and let me know if you've ever made a big mistake like me, and I will see you next time.